today we are going to study kcl that is kirchhoff's current law in order to define kcl we need to know about junction or node okay so if this is a branch okay you can't identify where is the node okay so if some other branch passes through then we can able to identify the node it's a simple node okay so when can you say that this is a node when two or more branches passes through the same point then that point is called junction or node okay and many branches can pass through that same node okay so let us assume this current as i1 i2 i3 okay so some currents let us assume this as i4 i5 i6 and i7 one more current is there again so let us assume this as i8 okay so some currents are entering and some currents are leaving clear so according to kcl sum of all currents at a node equal to 0 okay so let us assume entering currents as plus currents and leaving currents as minus currents or in the vice versa no problem okay so this is i1 plus i2 because this is also entering entering so plus i3 okay next plus of minus i4 do you understand now because this is a leaving current so for leaving currents we assume that the current has negative so that's why plus of minus i4 similarly plus of minus i5 plus of minus i6 and plus of minus i7 and what about i8 i8 is entering entering currents are plus so that's why plus i8 is equal to 0 clear so definition is like this sum algebraic sum okay of currents at a node is equal to 0 so this is how we define kcl we can also rearrange this equation how we can rearrange so this may be rearranged as i1 plus i2 plus i3 plus i8 is equal to i4 plus i5 plus i6 plus i7 so these are all entering currents and these are all leaving currents so how we can define kcl now sum of all the currents entering to your node is equal to sum of all the currents leaving that same node in this way we can define kcl okay so now uh, let us have a simple problem okay so here is a single voltage source v and two resistors are connected in parallel okay let us assume those resistors as r1 and r2 okay so how can you say that these two elements are connected in parallel okay so here we need to understand that we need to understand about nodes so if we consider two points or nodes the element should be connected directly between these two points these r1 and r2 are connected between the same two points so that's why we can say that r1 and r2 are connected in parallel if some current flows obviously it will divide okay so let us assume the total current as it and so this it is traveling like this at this point it is dividing let us assume the first branch current that is i1 and the second branch current i2 okay so here also what is happening this i1 is entering this i2 is entering again it is combined together and it is flowing in this way okay so we follow the upper node okay so now what is happening we are applying kcl we are trying to apply kcl so at this node what is the entering current it is there any other entering current no so it is the only current which is entering to the node which is equal to these two currents are leaving so i1 plus i2 clear 
So, this is KCL. In this way, we can find any one of the missing terms. Either we may find I1, then um, we may find I2 or we may find IT. Okay. So, any two elements will be uh, known to you. So, rest of the one will be calculated in this way. And in, in this concept only, we can uh, write the total resistance. Okay. So, according to Ohm's law, V is equal to what? IR. So, I is equal to V by R. Okay. So, keep it in your mind. Okay. So, now, what is the total current? It should be voltage by resistance, no? Same formula. So, here we have considered uh, to have a discrimination. Let us have Vs. Okay. So, this is Vs by R, which are either R1 or R2. We don't know. So, collective resistance we should write. Okay. So, let us assume that total resistance as Rt. We don't know what is Rt. Okay. So, which is, uh, this is uh, It. Now, what about I1 using the same formula? So, if parallel are there, parallel elements are there, voltage will be same, no? So, between these two points, the voltage has been connected. So, the same voltage will be appeared across R1 and also R2. Okay. So, what is I1? Voltage V by R is the formula, no? So, what is the voltage? Vs is the voltage by resistance is what in the first branch? R1. Similarly, I2. So, what is I2? Voltage is Vs and resistance is R2 in the second branch. Now, we follow this equation. So, what is It? This is Vs by Rt which is equal to. What is I1? I1 is Vs by R1. No. So, this is Vs by R1 plus I2. I2 is Vs by R2. So, this is Vs by from this relation, you can take Vs as common. There you get 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2. So, Vs gets cancelled. What is the formula? 1 by Rt is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2. Take LCM. So, this is R1, R2. So, in the numerator, you will be getting R2 plus R1. So, this is 1 by Rt. But we want what? Rt no. So, therefore, what is Rt? This is R1, R2 by R1 plus R2. So, up to here, okay, up to here, this is KCL. Now, we have learned one more topic. What is that? If two elements are connected, let us have resistors. In this case, we have resistors no. If two resistors are connected in parallel, what is the total resistance? R1, R2 by R1 plus R2. Okay. In this way, we need to understand uh, how to calculate the total resistance when they are connected in parallel. Okay. In this way, we can apply KCL. So, these are the two topics uh, for today. Okay. I hope you understand.